Happy Thursday, everyone. The time now is 5.30. I'm Sarah Cody in for Laura Hutchinson. Good morning, Sarah. Good, Good morning. morning, everybody. I'm Keith Kuntz. It is a real pleasure. Happening today, the Board of Education in Hamden will vote on a redistricting plan that could close some of the schools in town, a move parents are trying to stop from happening. News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live with all the details. Good morning, Brian. This just into our newsroom, two schools in East Lyme are closed today due to two water main breaks. Those breaks happened near Boston Post Road last night. The schools that are closed today are Flanders Elementary and East Lyme High. Folks living near Lover's Lane, Flanders Four Corners, and Society Road are being asked to boil their water before using it. Helping your children safely deal with a cough. Ahead, the federal guidelines for your kids and cough syrup. That's coming up right now. We are saying hello to... Uh, oh. Oh, little guy certainly cutie. seems to be ready yeah. for the Christmas holiday, and we love his Santa suit as well, don't oh, we? Oh, so cute. Now, speaking of holiday pictures, we want to see your holiday lights. Send them in using the reported feature on the News 8 app, or post them to social media using the hashtag WTNH Life. All right, welcome back. You'll information sir. about that E. coli outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. The FDA has narrowed down the source of the outbreak to six counties in California, Monterey, San Benito, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Santa Cruz, and Ventura. Health officials say not to eat romaine grown in those six counties. On there and they keep on ticking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I have a Subaru at 210,000 oh, miles. That's and I should probably be in the market for a new car. My family wants me to be, but I won't. I mean, isn't that what you want? No yeah. payment, well, a car that works? I think it comes to a point, though, where it gets a little iffy. That's not happening. Right. It's working. All right. So it's all good. I didn't say anything. <laughs> here. Don't jinx it. I got two boys and a dog. I don't need a fancy car, right? There you, you know? Go. What's their comment on that? <laughs> Welcome no to Car comment. Chat. They want a okay. fancy car, yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's, uh, boy, it's beautiful morning out there. Looks right? nice, Pete. Happening today, Hartford police are tackling crime with the health of the community. The police department is holding a public meeting today to share current crime trends along with officers' preventative efforts. Residents are encouraged to come out to share ideas and ask any questions. The goal of this meeting is to create community conversation and help officers better serve and protect the capital city. It starts at 5:30 at the Hartford Police Department on High Street. All right, Gil, thank you. All right, that'll wrap it for Good Morning Connecticut. We've got Good Morning America coming your way next. We'll see you at 9 and noon right here yeah. on News 8.